Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yasha if you're new here and today I will be giving you my advice for the first year of radiology residency. The first thing that you need to remember is that people expect you to know nothing. We have never been trained in radiology to any like appreciable degree in medical school and so if you know nothing that's fine. We don't expect you to know anything. That being said, it can be a really difficult feeling because you're just so overwhelmed all of the time. And I think that the major thing is to not let that stress you out. It's okay to not know everything. You're not going to. And the main thing is that you are just trying to start to understand what you're seeing without stressing yourself out too much. So yeah, my first piece of advice is like, try not to freak out. It's easy to be overwhelmed, but that's okay. Everyone comes into radiology knowing nothing about radiology and that's it's our job to teach you. So yeah, that's my first step is just relax. The second step is to start to learn the basics. So that means figuring out what contrast timing you're looking at, um, what phase of contrast. That means understanding the basic anatomy of what you're looking at and also understanding how to protocol studies appropriately. You'll realize that the first year resident is in charge of taking phone calls, doing a lot of protocoling, and so that means that you have to know how to do those things. I think that it's really a lot of just practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And obviously, if you have questions, you usually have a senior resident or you'll have an attending next to you that you can ask. So of course, feel free to ask. If you have questions about protocoling, I suggest you know looking at the ACR appropriateness criteria because that gives you a lot of insight into how to protocol studies appropriately. And also, if you're trying to figure out how to help someone on the phone, that can be an easy thing to look up um, when you're trying to figure out what study is appropriate for whatever the patient has. So yeah, just learn the basics. Look at your anatomy. Google, like if you don't know, Google is your friend. Look up, I look up Radiopedia probably a million times a day. Also eAnatomy if your um, institution is subscribed to it. And then StatDX can be helpful if you start to think, oh, I wonder if this patient has something. You can look up on StatDX and see like what are the different ways that presents. You could, they have lots of imaging findings that you could look up, that you could co kind of correlate to what you're seeing. And that can be an easy place to start, but don't stress out. Don't feel like you need to start delving into textbooks or anything. At the beginning, it's okay. Just learn the basics, grasp the basics, and then everything will kind of build from there. My third piece of advice is like maybe after the first few months or couple months, maybe after your first like couple rotations, start to try to look up one thing per day. And you can start this as early as you want, but I do feel like the, the more you do radiology, the more the terminology starts to make sense. So once you feel like you understand the terms, which can take different amounts of time for different people, that can be a good time to start looking something up every night. And it can be basic stuff. Like you should just try to look up one diagnosis that you saw that day. Maybe it's pyelonephritis. Maybe it's even just like a renal calculus. What does it look like on CT? What does it look like on ultrasound? Just try to start putting things together. And even if you forget it the next day or whatever, that's fine. It's okay. You, The repetition will help you and then eventually some things will just become basic. So. Start there, look up one thing per night, and I think that will actually add up quite quickly and you will start to realize that you know more than you think. If you're like, okay, I'm over it, I already know my anatomy, I've looked up a bunch of stuff already, I want to start looking at textbooks. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of recommendations. First of all, it's not a textbook, but Radiographics is probably my favorite journal. Um, it's I, I print out an article like probably once a week or maybe even more. I think that Radiographics has excellent pictures and images. They have really good explanations and usually it's pretty digestible. So, and, but the, they're long. The caveat is that they are like sometimes 15 to 20 pages long. But I would say if there is like something that you really don't get or you just want to learn more about and Radiopedia isn't doing it for you, um, Radiographics can be a great place to start. That being said, there are some books that a lot of us read just to build our knowledge base. And so Brenton Helms is a good one. Core Radiology is more like the first aid version, but still really good. And I know they're coming out with a new one soon, so maybe keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I would avoid anything like Crack the Core. You may see your seniors reading that. I would avoid that as a first year. That's not gonna help you. Honestly, it's mostly words and no pictures. And you really wanna start to see pictures. That's what I would suggest, is go to books that have a lot of images. So the requisite series have a lot of images. I know a lot of people are recommending, well, I can't think of the name of it right now, but if I remember, I will like put it in the description box. Oh, it's gonna bother me. But anyways, um, yeah, just 
you know, ask your co-residents. They will have lots of really good um, insight as well. They will tell you what to read. And a lot of places have their own teaching files. It's always good to start looking at images. But yeah, until you have a foundation of like what normals look like, what your anatomy is, a lot of it is going to be really confusing. And I would just try to keep to the basics look at a lot of pictures your first year, try to figure out what you're looking at, what orientation you're in, what phase of contrast you're in. And I guess that brings me to another point. Anytime someone shows you a case, try to get in the habit of saying, okay, this is like, what projection are we in? Is it a sagittal coronal or an axial? Are you looking at a CT with contrast? Are you looking at a CT without contrast? What phase of contrast are you in, etc. If it's an MR, same thing. What sequence are you looking at? This is a really good habit and it will pay off. And even if it's just a radiograph, is it AP or PA? Um, just starting to figure out what you're looking at because then you can also figure out when you're alone overnight or something, if something is not correct. That will happen if there's a projection that's not perfectly lateral and you really need a perfect lateral. If you don't remember what that looks like, it's gonna be tough. So really analyze your images and figure out like what is normal, what am I supposed to be looking at here, and does this look like that? I think if you can get that out of your first year, you will be in really good shape to start really delving into a lot of the textbooks, a lot of the reading that it takes to become a really strong radiologist. So. The last thing I will say is a lot of people really like questions. They love to do questions to see more pathology, and so Rad Primer is great if your institution has it. Um, definitely try to get through it probably in your first two years. I think first year it's kind of hard. I don't even think I remember a lot of the stuff I did first year. So first year is really all about building your foundation. Um, if you don't know what normal looks like, you're not gonna know what abnormal things look like. So just really try to train your eye to figure out what's normal, what am I supposed to be looking at, and figuring out your search patterns. With time, everything will build up and you just have to trust the process. Uh, we've all been there and I'm sure that all of us can say that you're gonna be okay. I hope that I can meet some of you at a radiology conference sometime soon, but in any case, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.